had an unusual winter this year with only half the normal snowfall amounts. The temperatures have bounced around like a ping pong ball, sometimes 5 degrees in the morning and only reaching the teens, and other times getting up in the 40s and 50s and melting all the snow. It's made it a bit easier for the deer to find their own natural food sources with less snow, but they still love to stop in for a quick visit and a nice snack. Peyton, go in the front. Go in the front. I have 25 to 30 deer that'll visit, and that's after losing some of my good friends during the hunting season this fall, like Marcy, Ivy, Adrian, Gina, Stella, and my good buddy Roman. They all tend to stick to their own groups. There's Peyton and her gang of nine, which includes Dee Dee, Rose, Jules and her fawn, Ginger, Nina and her twins. Maggie and her gang like to come up in the backyard. She watches over some of the orphans and gets help from Sweetie and Davy. Then there's Annabelle and her boy Buckley. Molly and two more orphans. Zoe lost her twins during the hunting season somehow. They might have gotten scared off from the hunters, I'm not sure. She's taken on these two little adorable orphans I call Cricket and Skeeter. Just like they're her own. And there's Birdie, still doing great. She's been too young to have her own babies yet started showing up with two fawns. I have to believe they're Adrian's twins. Bertie watches over them like she's their mom, just like Adrian watched over Bertie and Eli last year. Then there's Casper, the wild cat that found out she loves to get spoiled. She refused to come in the house, so she spent the winter in the cold garage. She has a heated enclosed bed that she spends nights in. I also bought her another bed that I set under a heat lamp that she just loves. Sometimes she acts like it's a tanning bed. I might need to do a search on tanning goggles for cats. Oh, she makes me take her for a walk each morning too, like a dog. Spoiled thing. <laughs> 